Oh my god. So what's going on man? Happy Monday to everybody. Welcome back from your amazing weekend. I know most of you guys hate Mondays because you gotta wake up early, go to school and all that stuff. But yeah, hey, at least it's like a reset button, man. You get to restart over on Monday. It's like a fresh start. And today we bring you guys some... I found this video. It's called Revenge of the Ghost Train. Huh? I'm pretty sure it has to do with like uh, Thomas the Train in that realm or whatever you want to call it. It's some spooky stuff, so I figured you guys would love it and we're going to be reacting to that. And we are on Thomas 1 Edward 2 Henry 3's channel. Shout out to him. Very interesting name, by the way. That's very hilarious. Thomas 1 Edward 2 Henry 3. I get it, man. He's a huge Thomas the Train fanatic, as we can see. And also, I'm not too very familiar with this Thomas uh, Revenge of the Ghost Train. So I did find a wiki page on it and you guys can read on it also yourself. You can check it out. I'm not going to do the reading because it's a lot of reading and it's it's too early for me to be reading so i'll just leave the link for you guys and let's go ahead and jump straight into the video oh all right cool This is legit. It's like, oh, what the heck was that? <laughs> it's like we're watching an actual movie. October oh 1995. Now, I'm afraid I cannot explain what was seen in those tapes, but I'd like to make it clear that they were not altered in any way. Oh. So you're suggesting this was paranormal activity? I am not suggesting anything. I am just telling you what I saw. It appeared that in those tapes, the train was attacked by another engine. Do you have an idea to who this engine was? Hit the holy well, water, man. All I can say is that it looked identical to an engine that was destroyed back in 1925. But again, I'm not making any assumptions. I'm Which just would telling be? you what I saw. How are you going to deal with the situation? We will continue to investigate the matter thoroughly. What if it is a real ghost? What are you going to do then? Dude, they look creepy. Like, their faces look creepy. <laughs> Revenge of the Ghost Train. I'm liking this yep, already. We're rolling. Now tell us, what was your immediate reaction when you saw the footage? Well, I nearly had a heart attack from that video. It was the most shocking thing I had ever seen in my life. Well, I actually laughed at first because I thought it was a prank and someone had screwed with the footage. My laugh quickly went silent when I saw how pale everyone else was. And it hit me! I had just seen a ghost on camera! I instantly knew who it was. My grandfather had told me about this Alfred engine and the damage Henry? it had done. After I realized that, there was no doubt. I tried to convince myself otherwise, but what I saw was just not from this world! Wait, so the ghost train is Henry, right guys? Well... It appears we have a ghost on the line. Who are you gonna call? Well, ah, I see what you did there. In all seriousness, what the, the hell are busters. we supposed to do? Perhaps if we, I don't know, Henry's try to there. meet up with Alfred and see what he wants. Are you kidding me? He tried to murder us. He's right, Gordon. From what my grandfather told me, there is no way I'm going to it was negotiate James, right? with him. But how can you stop him? And what if he strikes again? The only thing I worry about right now is how everyone will react. And how did they react? Oh, it was news all around the world. But the interesting thing is this. The only way it affected the railway was that there were less night trains, as people didn't want to travel at night. So in all honesty, it didn't do that much damage. But oh boy, did people start writing up strange conspiracies. How did the other engines react? It's a conspiracy! A constant what? Conspiracy! It's when... Oh, it's too complicated to explain and not worth it! We're all doomed! I say someone's definitely tampered with those cameras. I don't know what it is, but I can tell you, those tapes do not look like they have been edited. Even 70 years later, I still have the exact image of Alfred stained in my mind, and I tell you... Alfred? That was the image of Alfred. 
There were, of course, more sightings afterwards. Can you tell us about those? Well, it further cemented my belief that the whole thing was real. First, we saw Alfred on the Wellsworth security cameras. Around 2 a.m., he just casually rolled well, through Alfred's the number three. Everyone was very confused. Alfred thought it was Henry. They didn't believe it at first. So the night after, they sent two men to investigate. They hung out on the platform with a camera, but Alfred didn't come. There's no ghosts. We've been here for hours. Actual footage. I think you're quite right. But shall we look up the line a bit? I don't see why not. Ghosts, pa! What a load of rubbish. I tell you, this is probably nothing but a wretched prank old fat it's hat is playing so on It's dark us. out there. Yes, indeed. Oh, wait. Blast! My wallet must have fallen out on the bench. I'll just go back and... <laughs> Dude, that is creepy. Heck no, nah, man. <laughs> then, I no longer cared whether it was real or not. I only knew that I had to send Alfred back to where he came from. So, how did you do it? Well, a few days later, someone came to me who had the answer. Well, hello, sir. What's your name again? Rogman, sir. Nathan W. Rogman. His hair, though. Sir, uh, may I inquire as to why you wanted to see me? It's about this, um, paranormal activity. I know how to put an end to it. <laughs> Are you an exorcist or something? No, but I used to work on the Cody Fell Railway, and we had similar incidents to what's going on right now. Similar incidents? You mean, there was a ghost there too? Before I go further, I must recommend that you keep this information out of the public until we've caught the ghost. Ooh. Understood? Of course. Now carry on. Right. Until a few years ago, I was a guard on the Cody Fell Railway. I was quite well known and Wilfred. had a good relation with the manager. It was the summer of 1980 when we saw him. Who? The number one engine. Godred, who had been scrapped after tumbling down a mountain in 1900, had returned from the dead. He stared at us with his ghostly eyes. So wouldn't it be a zombie Lost train if he returned from the dead? To move in fright, he then slowly moved forward. And when he ran Got back face into on the his coast butt. that had brought us up, our engine puffed away very quickly. It didn't stop until we had reached the safety of our shed. We had seen a ghost engine. Zombie ghost train. And what train. did you do? Well, we made sure that the press didn't hear about it for one thing, but we had no idea what to do. I mean, what the heck do you do with a ghost? But the answer soon came to us. A driver's grandfather, who was 98 at the time, was once an archaeologist. He knew almost everything about Southern history, from ancient kings and castles and battles. He knew of an object that would rid us of Godred's ghost. This object happened to be an old kettle. A kettle? How is a bloody kettle gonna kill a ghost? It doesn't kill them. It traps them. According to legend, it was constructed in the 1500s by a mysterious man believed to be a wizard. Santa Claus? We don't know much about this man, but we do know he was very interested in the idea of ghosts and paranormal activity. He succeeded in making a kettle that could trap ghosts. No one knows who got a hold of it after this man died, but it eventually ended up in the bottom of Arlesdale Lake. How did you find it? We didn't. Archaeologist had it in his possession. He had found it at the bottom of the lake in Arsdale long before. He never captured any ghosts with it because he never ran into any. Now was the time to put it to the test. The we ghost got down out. Godred's ghost once more. We stared into his non existent soul. The archaeologist taunted the ghost, encouraging him to run towards him. Godred gave in Ooh. and shot forward. And just as it hit him, there was a blinding flash! Godric was gone. My eyes. The kettle was now whistling, as if the water was boiling. Godred was trapped inside. Let me guess. You're suggesting that we use this, uh, kettle to trap Alfred? Exactly. But we have to find it first. After realizing that this kettle was indeed a, well, magical one, the archaeologist was concerned about it going into the wrong hands. It remained hidden in his house until he died. 
Then his grandson apparently buried it. An old abandoned mine. I thought that was his house. I was about to say, what the heck? Where do you live, I bro? See. Well, there seems to be no other logical solution. Let's find that kettle. Tell me, where is the grandson of this archaeologist? Well, just by luck, I believe he's now a driver on the Scarloy Railway. I've heard he now drives a little orange diesel. His name is Hornsby. Well, I best inform the official investigator. He'd like to know about this. Right, so now we go look for Hornsby. Where the heck is Hornsby? Talk to him, man. Oh my goodness! How did it get so cold, Oliver? Son. Yo! Oh, I'm sorry. Was my entrance a little too chilling? <laughs> what are you doing here? I should have thought it was obvious. I was the pride of the LNAR. Adored. Admired. Glorified. Until sheep. you had called and had to come and ruin it for me. You, My you gosh, did that yourself. Bro. And how are you going to enact your revenge? You're a ghost. You can't do anything. Oh, really? Have you forgotten our little reunion? Oh my god! What? <laughs> He's gonna kill him with that! Let's get out of here! Agreed! You can run, Henry, but you can't hide. Yo, that is the most menacing ghost train I've ever seen. Not while I have this whole cursed railway to haunt. <laughs> Guy's a total lunatic. Oh, he's a trainatic lunatic. Whatever, man. He's not even Next real. Morning, we set off to find this um thing. What is it they're looking for, driver? Afraid I can't say. It's confidential. Now come on, off we go. Are you sure this um tea kettle will be there? Well, aside from Harnsby, no one's been in the mine since it closed. In fact, not many people know of its existence. I still can't believe that the solution to a supernatural problem is a ruddy tea kettle. It is what it is, man. Are you serious? It was only a matter of time before you did. Why do you think he's back? Why wouldn't he? He thinks we're the cause of his downfall, and he wants revenge. He wants to haunt us and cause as much mayhem as possible. If he can push you Forest off the rails boomers and always a sinkhole, want to out. who knows what else he can do. That's what I'm worried about. I think you should be a little more than worried. We've got a homicidal phantom on our line. And that is why the Fat Controller is on a secret mission right now. I say, I don't see any kettles in here. I put it in a trap door, if I remember correctly. The trouble is, I don't remember. What? Come on. Oh. oh, there it is. You all right, Topham? <laughs> I've had worse, and I think I found your kettle. Yep, that is most certainly it. Just as beautiful as I remember it. It looks like it came from Asda. Why did you not have a nose? In the shop. All right, very funny. But be careful. This object contains a great deal of power, and it must be used carefully. Whoops! What Bro, you just earth? dropped it. It was sunny. How is this possible? I think that new fuel might not be a good fit for me. Oh, there they are. All right, we better get that thing into a safe place before it causes more trouble. Thank you, Rusty. You're welcome. Pleased to be of service. What utter nonsense. I hope this bloody thing works. I will not lose this railway to a disgruntled dead locomotive. Out of my way, you silly sausages. And you sausage. Put, you blue buffoon. You know, I wonder if Alfred's paid him a visit. Now that is something I'd pay to see. He's a right coward. Would probably shake himself to bits. Or wet the tracks. <laughs> Oh look, it's the Fat Controller. Good afternoon. We have good news. We found it. Found what? 
Oh, right. Uh, let me explain. This here is a kettle that can trap ghosts. I beg your pardon? He you heard him, right? Kettle neck. This is a mystical object ghosts. right here. I take it the engines didn't believe you? No, not at first. They thought we had nicked it from Burning Man or something. <laughs> it's a long story, but I'll explain later. Tonight, we've got work to do. Tonight? Tonight? Why, yes. We need to get <laughs> rid of alarm. this ghost as soon as possible. Um, uh, uh, well, okay, but d do you even need us, though? Yes. Oh, wow, what we a need coward. To him at speed. Then Gordon should do it. But what if something goes wrong? We're going to need more than one engine. Well, that makes me feel loads better. Y you don't understand. Y he's more powerful than you think. He can levitate things. He's a he's not just a ghost. He's a demon. We'll have to trick him. Demon. This is not going to be easy. Yes, you don't need to state the bloody obvious. Oh, Good they got the whole you gang two. now. I'd be there with you, but I'm just not strong enough. Go and get rid or of not. that little creature of an engine once and for all. I will say though, I don't know if throwing a teapot at a ghost will work. <laughs> you make any more snarky the ghost comments, trapping you might teapot, as well go okay? right in front Thomas. of us to face Alfred full on, Thomas. Calm down, Gordon. You're just nervous. Nervous? Nervous, Henry! I'm Thomas bloody Edward terrified, Henry you donut! Oh, finally, here they come. Got the kettle? Yep, I think we're ready. Well, I'm not. I don't think any of us are ready, Mr. Rogman. I know that, but we've got to get rid of this thing. Did he just say they're using a kettle to get rid of Alfred? You've got to be kidding me. Nobody believes so in the kettle, man. For Wellsworth. It was one of the most hair-raising journeys I've ever taken. Just before we arrived at Wellsworth, we knew he was there. Oh God. Well, where are you? Show yourself. Oh, how rude of me. What? Oh. Oh, oh these effects are nice. Life you've destroyed. Okay, I'm just gonna say right off the bat that I'm not going to listen to any of this bullcrap about how we were the reason you blew yourself up. Ever since you arrived on this island, you had this horrible attitude. You were arrogant, rude, and to put it frankly, a great big freaking sociopath. You had many chances to get your act together, but you just wouldn't because all you cared about was Tell domination. Him. You wanted to be on top of the ladder. Tell the best him, Gordon. out there. You wanted everything all to yourself. Well, that's not how life works, buddy. You are nothing but a stuck up green asshole. Man, he went in, bro. In the past, maybe, but not now. You too, Percy Talon, bro. is a well-respected engine here. He is bold, brave, and will not let anything destroy him. Yeah. He uses his strength to help others in need. He knows what it means to be an engine of soda. Something you never seem to know. In your You're getting me pumped up, bro. Perhaps, I tell you mine. I don't give a damn about your point of view. You tried to murder us. I take it back. You're not just an asshole. You're a savage beast. Dang, he told him, bro. <laughs> wow, bye Gordon bye is so bastard. cool now. And so was Percy. Oh, He's come a on. ghost. Don't bother, Gordon. <laughs> it's useless to oh. You're a blinking ghost. What are you going to do? Knock me off the rails? Oh, he got the kettle. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he fly. derailed him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he made him fly. Uh oh, no. Gordon's dead. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Teaching you a jolly good. You're second rate, Gordon. And that's all you'll ever be. Oh no, Gordon! <laughs> so, you won't stay dead, eh? Heaven 875 or 6. 
my Who's dearest this? friend. <laughs> How are you? Ivan. I don't like this guy, and man. Ironically enough, I love it! <laughs> you could have joined me, Crippen. But I see my triumph is a solo act. <laughs> now, why don't you run along? Oh, he got the kettle. Why don't you just come and kiss my. They're gonna ass? work. Why, you wretched little ingrate! Go back to hell, you Get son of a Oh, he trapped them inside of it. Seems like it did end up working. You've done it! What the hell? I've forgotten why I don't run. Oh, <laughs> my legs are aching. I'm confused. Oh, man. I thought we had to ram Alfred at speed. <laughs> Apparently, the fat controller was going fast enough. The demon has been smitten. Yes, let him rot in that pit. Now, if you'd excuse me, I must attend to the governor. That's I it? He's just out? All day wasting time chasing ghosts. Like, not even what's up, I'm um, this, no, this is my name. Thought, just like the man he was named after. Now then, I think it would be prudent if we got the breakdown train. So, that's it? It only took that tea kettle? <laughs> yes, I know, it's shocking. But you never know what power these little knickknacks have. <laughs> Indeed. Do you have any contact with Rodman now? We couldn't interview him because he's in the United States right now. Occasionally, but he's a bit of a nutter now. He looks around for other mysterious magical things. In fact, he went to America to find a so-called magic railroad. We gave the kettle back magic to Magic What the heck is he talking about? It somewhere secret. No one knows where it is. And frankly, that's a good thing. People can't be trusted with magical instruments such as that. The wizard! I believe this belongs wizard. to you. Alright, so he gave it to the Santa wizard, and it seems like they restored our evil, man. So much for the ghost train, huh? <laughs> it was pretty cool. I like this whole little fan-made movie. I wish there was more like this. Pretty awesome. All right, you guys. Well, that's the end of Revenge of the Ghost Train. If you guys know of any other fan-made like Thomas the Train films, or it doesn't have to be Thomas. It could be like any other scary character that you guys see that I do videos on my uh, videos on on my channel about. Let me know down in the comments below. I will gladly check them out. I like watching fan-made stuff because people get so creative and whatnot. But thank you all for watching. Thank you all for the amazing support. And I will see you all in the next one. Perfect, perfect.